Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're gonna to talk about summer event ideas. We've talked before about how to structure events in your roleplay group, so I'm gonna link that video up in the card. I recommend watching that first because it gives you an idea of how I like to structure my events in my roleplay groups. Now, I tend to run my role plays as sort of coinciding with real time. So if it's summer in real life, then it's summer in the role play. Now, it is the beginning of summertime right now, so this is a great time to talk about summertime events that you might want to do in your role play. A lot of these you can also do for summer themed threads that you might have in a one on one role play group. So even if you're not a role play group moderator, stay tuned for the ideas. And if you're having a little bit of deja vu now, you're not crazy. I did this video for wintertime and also springtime, and we're going to do another one for autumn when that time rolls around. And just like we've done before, let's start with holidays. In the US, we have our Independence Day, and our Independence Day is marked by grilling out and potlucks and fireworks. So even if you're not in the US, though, fireworks are a great thing to do for summertime roleplay events. The heat also means that people are doing different things than they would other times of year. Sometimes the heat is too brutal and certain work doesn't happen, just like the reason that certain work doesn't happen in the winter because of the snow. So consider celebrating the heat. For example, you could do a summer solstice type of event. The summer solstice is the day of the year that we have the most daylight and the least nighttime. So this is a unique day that might mean that you need an event during this time in your role play. The end of the summer is also the time for the traditional harvest season to begin. This is called Lunasa in Gaelic, and so sorry for that pronunciation, it's probably all wrong. <laughs> but this is when you start reaping those fruits that you've been growing all during the spring and the beginning of the summer. In the US, we also have two federal holidays. We have Labor Day, which celebrates workers, and we have Memorial Day, which celebrates late veterans and their families. So we only have a few explicit holidays in the summer, but what summer is really all about is getting out of school and going on family vacations. Think theme parks, a cabin in the mountains, a condo at the beach, or really anything that requires coordination of several people, summer is usually the time that people can coordinate this. Now, I love the beach, so highlighting the beach in your summer themed events, I think is a wonderful idea. So think about all of those fun beach things like surfing, volleyball tournaments, afternoons by the pool, snorkeling, all of that stuff you can do during the summertime. And who doesn't love theme parks? There's roller coasters, snacks, character meet and greets, all great ideas for role play events and threads. When it comes to camping, think of things like roasting s'mores, fishing by the lake, hiking, sleeping under the stars. Those are camping activities. Another thing that tends to happen in the summer is big summer blockbuster releases at the movies. So consider having a movie night or a theater experience for your role play in the summer. And remember, like we've talked about before, if any of this sounds too fluffy, you can always have your antagonist swoop in and ruin the fun. So next, let's talk about the weather. When it comes to summer weather, it's all about the heat. So think about where your role play takes place. If it's in a more humid climate, what you're going to have is hot nights, hot days, and thunderstorms in the afternoon. If you're in a drier climate, you're gonna have an alternation between really hot days and cooler nights, and then it just goes back to incredibly hot during the day. So when it comes to summertime events, the things that you want to remember are school being out and the freedom of that. And if you have children characters, like explicitly doing school is out is appropriate. If you have older characters, maybe the nostalgia of that is more appropriate. And then of course, for everyone, it's all about beating that summertime heat. What sort of role play events do you guys like to do in the summer? Let me know down below. And remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.